and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my nails. I've gotten a few comments. <laughs> like I know we're in quarantine and everything. I know a little bit from people online and a little bit from people offline. But they're always like, mm, you shouldn't be going out to get your nails done during quarantine. Listen, sis. I've been doing my own gel nails for about three or four years now, um, but I am in no way a professional. I just do this for my fun, and I mainly just do it for myself. Occasionally, I'll do it for my mom or um, like my cousin or a friend, but in most part, I do this all by myself, for myself, sanitize everything, buy everything myself. This is not sponsored. Um, it's just something that I have picked up. Like the thought of paying that much to get my nails done, no knocking it if you do I just like I just don't like to spend the money I'm gonna be real with you but I will say it does take a really long time and it's not something that I prefer to rush so I could literally sit there for three or four hours watching videos and doing my nails at the same time because I do work like you know on myself so I only have one available hand at all times anyways I want to show you guys how I do it um, I'm gonna include any of the links to anything that I can find in the down bar below if you guys are curious the lamp and um, the nail file I bought on Amazon and um, the polishes I bought myself I buy them like every year at uh, the exhibition if you guys are familiar with Toronto they always have a little booth there and I always buy like eight to ten polishes every year when I visit so I have quite the collection already so yeah without further ado let's get into the video so this is what my nails look like right now. I haven't done them in a few weeks and this is the growth so far and I really like the way that I do my nails because it never lifts or chips or anything so I'm going to show you how I do it today. This is the nail file that I got. I bought it off of Amazon a few years ago. If I can find the link I'll put it down in the down bar below. My tip for doing this part is to file your nails down um, but not all the way down to your natural nails. So I like to file almost down just to the layer of hard gel it just kind of helps to prolong my length but also keeps my nails strong i do however file um the part of the hard gel um that's close to the growth just so that because it's eventually going to lift anyway so i'm just going to apply more hard gel at that point after all of the polish is filed off, I'm going to take some nail clippers and um, clip them down to the size that I want them. I really don't like having super, super long nails anymore. It's just not my vibe, especially since I'm working a lot. And what I use to shape my nails with, I'm not entirely sure what the grit is, but it is a coarser grit. I'm going to put it on the screen if I can find out what it is. I bought all of my um, emery boards and stuff like that from Sally's. Most of the stuff that I didn't buy off of Amazon is actually from Sally's. Um, and I will, like I said, I'll link it or I'll put it in the video for you guys to see. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my cuticle area and just get rid of any dead skin or um, any overgrown cuticles. I know some people don't like to trim their cuticles and that's totally fine. It's up to personal preference. I like it better. I feel like um, my nails are cleaner and my products will apply better and they will stay on longer. And I find that if I do this step, it helps to prolong um, my nails. So after I've finished cleaning up my cuticles, I go in with a finer grit, I believe that's what it's called, a finer grit um, emery board. I hope that's what these are called, filing board. And I just like to very lightly, I know it doesn't look like it in the video, but I just like to very lightly um, file my natural nails, so close, like, you know, the new growth. I like to file that down um, with a finer grit just so that the product sticks better. Um, you don't wanna use a super, super coarse grit on natural nails, that's what I've learned. Um, so I do recommend you finding a really good fine grit one. I'm going to take um, some alcohol and I'm going to just kind of wipe off any of the debris and any of the file shavings and stuff just to clean up my nails before I begin the actual process. And after your nails are all clean, should look like this. And the very first thing I like to do is to go in with an acid-free primer. This is also known as a dehydrator, I believe. I brought this from Sally's Beauty Supply Store. I apply this very sparingly to my natural nails. And so I do stress that because I don't remove all of my hard gel off of my nails from previously, I only like to put this part on the natural nail section. So like any over overgrowth, I mean, I'm not super duper careful with it, but definitely don't apply too, too much. 
this is the curing lamp that i have it's straight from amazon again if i can find the link i bought this years and years and years ago but if i can find the link i'll put it down there it is a uv led lamp i believe this is the base coat that i use madam glam actually sent this to me years ago like so long ago and uh, i've just never had to go out and buy another base coat because this one is it just lasts really long um so I, you know what i'm happy with it i like the way that it, it works i haven't had a chance to try any other base coat because this one has literally been around it just seems like there this bottle is never ending so i apply um, at least two base coats to my nails and i cure it for about a minute i think 60 seconds i do apply this base coat twice just to ensure that i've covered all of the surface area because sometimes i will miss a few spots and then i'll cure it so this is the hard gel that I use. I also bought this from Sally's. It's the IBD hard gel. I know that a lot of people don't like it. I know a lot of people do like it. This is personally just what I use because it's what I could get my hands on. I'm not a professional, so I kind of just bought whatever I could find and worked for me. Now, the thing about this hard gel is that you do have to be patient with it. It does take a little bit of time to get used to. I for sure used too much when I first started. After a few years of doing my own nails, I know exactly how I want the consistency. I don't want it super, super thin and I don't want it super, super thick. So I do lean towards more of a thin application, but um, thick enough that it provides me the strength because my natural nails are very, very thin and they've always been like this ever since I was little and a tip that I do recommend is to try and get more of the gel in the center of your nail and to kind of give it more of a structure more of a dome shape rather than flat it will help to kind of prolong your nails because it gives it structure it's supposed to make it stronger and that's just the way that i usually like to shape my nails the color that i'll be using is by bio seaweed gel i think i have over 30 or 40 colors specifically from bio seaweed gel they're just my favorite gel polish i just personally love them i have two different types of them i have the unity all-in-one which is the color that i'm using today in coral wreath it's like my super favorite i also have the three step which is a little bit more work because you have to have a base coat you apply the color and then you seal it with a top coat for this unity all-in-one you don't need a top coat and it's actually it actually works better if you don't have a top coat this color specifically is very sheer which I really like I love the look of it so I apply at least two to three coats of this color um, and it's basically personal preference you just apply it until it looks good to you right because this is the unity three-in-one I don't need to apply a top coat but if you were using any other gel you I would suggest topping it off with a top coat and usually depending on what kind of top coat you get some of them will be a no wipe and some of them will be a wipe so if you have the top coat that you need to wipe you need to get a little bit of alcohol onto a cotton pad or something and just wipe down your top coat so that it's not sticky anymore after I've done my nails and they're all good and they look really cute and I'm happy with them, I just take a cuticle oil. I got this really big one from Walmart. It was like $5. It was super inexpensive. And I put it on a little cotton pad and I give my cuticles and my actually my whole nails, my all down to my fingers. Um, I apply it generously and I give them a good massage, restore any moisture and, and nourishment to your nails after they're done and they just look super cute after. So this is the finished product. This is how I've been doing my nails for the past three or four years now. And I personally love how they always turn out. So this is the nails that I just did compared to the overgrowth of my previous manicure. And that was it guys, that is how I do my nails all by myself. Now I am gonna say again, I'm not a professional, so please if I did something wrong or you have um, tips and tricks or something, like if you do your own nails or you're a professional um, nail artist or nail technician, please do comment down below and you know, like give me tips, I'm always learning. Anyways, I hope you guys liked my video. If you guys are active on Instagram or TikTok, I am active on both of those platforms. It's the same handle as my YouTube, just at that linguistic and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!